hi and welcome to all of our drivers and pit crew and all the viewers at home. We're here at the Rotax Africa Open Challenge. This is a one day event and uh, it's been held this year at Swat Corps in Pretoria. Pretoria just, uh, you know, just south of Pretoria. The weather today is absolutely stunning. It's uh, 25 degrees, full sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. And the track temperatures are going to be very hot, putting down a lot of sticky rubber out there today. The format for Africa Open is Heat 1, Heat 2, Heat 3, and Heat 1 and 2 points and position points uh, sets up your grid position for the final heat. And that final heat is a winner takes all. This essentially is a Grand Prix of karting in Africa. Grand Prix meaning great prizes, the great prize being a ticket to the world champs. And next year in 2022, it's going to be in Bahrain. So we're all looking forward to that. Over to you. We're hoping for a good result right there. I'll just get back to the watching the start, yeah. This is a senior match to be contested. Over 12 laps. Watch the lights and they go out. We are racing. Nice clean start there. No problems at all. Oh, what a move from the outside there. From the very outside line, Cohen Bam. Well, explodes into the lead from the very outside of the line. Managed to out to pace everybody down to turn one. Cut back at early apex and to grab the lead. Well, Sri Naidu well positioned and he'll be hoping to uh, try and power his way into the lead. But it's got to be seen, Cohen Bam has got to be seen as the danger man, yep. So race down over the line, Cohen Bam leads. Kian Grant has got himself back to second. Charles Fischer there running in third. Sri Naidu has dropped down to that fourth position right now. Honorato Sekudu, well positioned at the moment there in that fifth position. Well, Cohen Bam, no surprises there, laying down the best time of that first lap of 44.865. Everybody lightning quick through that turn nine, racing down the straightaway. The 291 caught there, Cohen Bam hangs on to that lead. Just uh, one and a half cough, cock lengths back to second place. Kian Grotis. One long train of competitors, no one attempting fate and trying to break down through a different line. Everyone's staying on the very quick line, wide line down the main straight, catching in back there. Moved by the 2 1 2 cart there. Sinaidu trying to get up and make the pass up the inside there of uh, Jordan Brooks in cart 237. That's the race there for sixth position between those two. Olorato Sekudu producing the new fastest lap of the race. 43.857 there for a Sekudu and car 223 sitting in third position right now. Grotus with a breakaway now. He's found a little bit extra pace. He's got himself a half a second on a shawl of in the 257 cart. Seven and a half laps still to go. Pressure there on for the third place uh, driver, Olivato Sekudu. Coming in the form of Cohen Bam and Card 291.
Bam and the, uh, with the orange helmet on. Absolute bullet start to get himself through turn one and the number one position, but it has uh, dropped a couple. Right now he's in fourth position, Cohen Bam. A 2-9-1 card. Now keeping Alorata Sakuda on his toes. Now look at this, look at this battle going down to Tessa. A three-way battle right now for that third position. We'll stay with that. To still a 2-9-1 card. Current Bam, but he's got Riley Horner and Alorata Sakuda for company. Horner has picked up his pace there and he's taken it. To Bam, Horner, Sekudu, and Brooks all jockeying for that uh, third position. Grotus with a one second advantage right now. As he races down, five laps remain for Kian Grotus. Can he hang on to that lead? All the way to the checkers. A little check over his left shoulder, Charles Bissup. Bird's eye view of the race going on for third position. Cohen Bam in car 291 with Riley Horner keeping him in for company. Olorato Sikuda in there as well. Three-way battle going down for third position. Well, Grotter seems to have pace nobody can match. As he comes into view down the uh, Victor Energy straight away into turn one. Lovely light through them. Just a little dab on the brake set. Runs a uh, mid corner apex. Just gets early back on the loud pedal. Runs that hard through to turn one. Top seven drivers all running 43s. Seven tenths different in lap times. Three laps remain for Agrotis. 1.8 second advantage he has over Charles Fisser. Getting aerial shots back on the monitor from uh, the drone. Courtesy of DT Form Services. Capturing all the action for all the fans around the country this weekend. Tucking his head down behind that uh, number board. Ken Grot is trying everything, everything to edge his way further and further away from what's going down behind him. Shaw. Fisser in that second, Cohen Bam in third, Riley Horner in fourth, Olerata Sekudu running fifth, Sreenaidu in sixth, Jack Rose in seventh, Roshan Goodman in eight, Ethan Bust Bustana running nine, and Jean Reynal in car 217 makes up the top ten. Right, so Ken Grotter says, this is it, this is the last lap board. Let me put my head down and go hard and uh, try and find a little bit more pace. He's 2.2 seconds up the road already. On a sharp up, who's been kept on his toes there by Cohen Bam. Four tenths of a, of a second separating second to third. The Cohen Bam. Desperately wanting to make a, a move on Shaw Fisser for that second position. Jolita up the back hill there into turn nine. Pointing at Squirt for the checkered flag. Kian Grotus takes the win 
1.9 second. Gap back to second. Shaw Fisher takes second. Cohen Bam takes third from Riley Horn and fourth. Olaraja Sekuru takes fifth place. Sri Nader and sixth. Jack Rowe, Roshan Goodman, uh, Ethan uh, Bustander, and uh, Sean Raynell. Your top ten. We've got Kian Grotus here obeying COVID rules. He didn't have his mask, so he's keeping his helmet on. Well done, Kian. The Heat won in Africa Open, and you've taken it. It was very close in the beginning, but by the end, you were very comfortably ahead. What's your favorite part of the track? Um, to be honest, I must say that double left right at the end. You know, it's just such a comfortable corner for me. Um, Happy is there actually, um, comfortable every lap, I think I nailed it, and um, I like that spot. Those are nice long sweeping lefts, eh? the, the, the tighter double rights here, it gives you a little bit of a tr hard time. I wouldn't say it's a hard time, more of a, I don't know, you know, I, I enjoy it as well. There's no part that I can say I don't like it, I mean it's more of a technical corner, you know, it's just, just better to perfect it in that way. Well, congratulations for Heat 2 and Heat 3. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Senior Max approached the start. Nice close formation, looking good. Man to watch out for on 211 is Kian Grotis. He, he, he took the win in race one from a Schalfusser and Cohen Bam. Was very quick off the line in race one, ended up in third position. The lights go out, we're racing. It's the 291 cart again. Cohen Bam, lightning quick off the line. Once again, grabs the lead. Can he hang on to it this time? As they race through the tunnel. Well, one long train, pretty close stuff, a bit of a breakaway. Top four sticking together. Cohen Bam, King Grotis, Riley Horner, and Charles Fisser all making that breakaway. Chase down the main straightaway. Very close. Look at this on the break. But he's staying off each other's uh, back axle. Holding a wide line. Everybody taking the wide line through. No chances. Trying to slip down the inside and square off. Kian Bam. Another great start there, hangs on to that lead. Fisset that picks up on the fastest lap there with a 45.047. It's a point one of a second gap from first to second, hardly measurable. Four-way race through the uh, SSM. First place man just dropping off a wee bit, that's Riley Horner in car 299. Riley Horner gets back in the action. Well, he's right in there. Riley Horner is sitting in that fifth position right there. It's uh, Jordan Brooks that uh, just slips back there in that sixth position. But the top five all are squaring off, looking up pretty racy up front. Cohen Bam there trying to uh, put a real estate between himself and a Charles Fisher as they race through flat out into the S's. Away from us, up the hill into turn nine. That's a flat out turn, nobody eases off there. And that's heartbreaking as they go to this tight left hand up. In front of the commentary towel. A little check over his right shoulders. Cohen Bear means business in race two. Kian Grotis there, got Sri Naidu climbing all over the back end of him. The two on two caught the other. Three Naidu. Well, Senior Max. Once again, exciting stuff going down. Here comes an attack here from Charles Fisser. Charles Fisser having a look now at uh, taking on Kian Grotus. Light on the brakes here in the 211 car.
Cohen Bam leads. Kian Grotis in second. He's put down another purple lap here. Shrien Naidu is up. The man is pushing hard. Ooh, we've got someone going off here into the tie wall just under the commentary tower. Now, this is where Kian Grotis has got some serious pace. Look at this here. As he breaks right, it's just a nose cone difference between first and second. Sri Nader in there as well. Charles Fissap, Jordan Brooks, Riley Horn and six. Jean Renal having a good run. He's running at seven right now. Roshan Goodman there in eight. Ethan Bostana is the man in ninth. From Carl Fissap, tenth and 277. Well, it's race one when it leads race two. No change in the uh, position, top four, all uh, evenly spaced. So race down there to uh, Cohen Bam from Ken Grotters, Sinaidu and Charles Fisser. All evenly spaced there, around about half a second separating them. And we look at the race on that for that fifth position. That is uh, Jordan Brooks in the 237 card, got Riley Horner on his tail there, looking for a way through. Riley trying to get a squeeze into that fifth position. Well, Grot is now running a hot lap there. He's right now almost nudging the back end there of a Bam's cart as they race away to turn two. Grotters has definitely turned up the wick. Race one winner and sitting in second place. Well, Bam finishing in third position in race one. He certainly has turned uh, up the wick. He's uh, looking very racy in race two. When they cross the line, it will be three laps to go. Three laps to go, therefore. The orange helmet of Cohen Bam. Kian Grotters will be now puzzling as to where he can make a move on Cohen Bam. Sri Nadu looking for an opportunity. Solid drive coming from uh, Sri in that third position. Bringing Sharpfus along with him in the 257 cart. Top four all looking at with an even chance. So two laps to go. Not point two seconds separate first to second. And Cohen Bam certainly has turned his whole day around. Great start there. The signs were. Looking good, here we go, attack from the outside, here we go, this is Kian Grotis. Had a little look here, going down the outside of Cohen Bam. 
was hoping to square off her behind him and cut him tight with a late outback through turn one. Was no room for him there. It's a Cone Bam read that situation pretty well. Closed down all the options, left a very, very difficult task for Kian Grottis, who had to get on the, the brake pedal there and just slack back there and take up that second spot again. Shinodo had a look there, he thought he might have been able to come through. As they race for the checkered flag, there we are, just one card length separates them. Cohen Bam, third in race one, takes a win in race two. Kian Grottis, race one winner, ends up in second place. Shinodo will take third position. Big turnaround for Shreen, finishing down on fifth position in race one. Comes home in that third position, race two. Wow, um, you've come from from where? I, I, don't, I have not got you on the race entry that Jenny uh, for Hale gave me. I do not have a car 291. Um, is, were you racing yesterday in the Nationals or is it just your Af Africa uh, Open? So, uh, Tate's actually my driver, I'm his mechanic. And then we thought since he won the championship yesterday, he'll give me a shot in the cart. And yeah. Good grief, this is, this is like a... George Russell taking Hamilton's cart and, and doing so well. I, th that's incredible. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was a tough race, so I got a bit tight towards the end. But yeah, I'll see if I can hold it on for the last race. Yeah. Um, whatever you're doing is working. It looks like you're on rails there. You had pressure the entire race. You didn't run away with it. It wasn't easy. Um, but where do you think your strength lies on the track? Uh, yo, I don't know. I could be more consistent. And I think if I was a bit more consistent, I could pull away. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just try and improve on small things and the wind's not helping us today no. So it kind of keeps the racing close and makes it a bit tough But yeah, it was a good race. It was a great race and all the best for heat three. Thank you so much As we focus on the start of the senior max final to be contested over 15 laps The man to watch out for Cohen Bam in the 291 cart the winner of race two and very quick off the line not able to get off the line quick enough. That's Kian Grottis. That goes into the front in the team Evan cut. Cohen Bam tucked into second right. But this is us. another one of these star studded fields of quality drivers. Senior Max final underway. 15 laps, hotly contested. third and final heat to see who wins that ticket to the world finals good move there from the 2-1-2 court of Sri Naidu makes a pass on Riley Horner so Sri Naidu into third he drops Riley Horner down one slot position in uh, race two certainly uh, working at turning uh, the uh, final round Sri Naidu who lay puts down the fastest lap 43 272 for Sri Naidu in 212 slot in that third position right now In second place, Sri Naidu into second. A good move down turn nine. Grotters leads. Naidu in second. 
Magnificent then. Bam and Ford. Brooks in front from row. Now Goodman, Bustana and Horner down in 10th place. Great move there from uh, Shreemaru. Coming into the main straight away. To that uh, very quick left hand and going up the hill. Ken Grottis at the moment looking fairly comfortable up front in the 211 cart. Charles Fisher not going to, you certainly won't want to lose one more position. They'll drop him out of the top three. Has got Cohen Bam on his case. They cross the line, 10 laps remain. Sean Fisher, a little step back here, keeping a watchful eye on the hard charging Cohen Bam. 43 137 there for Cohen Bam. He passes lap of the race, Cohen in that fourth position. Winner of race two. Down in fourth place. And this shows the, the depth of this uh, senior max set class. Just so many quality drivers that are capable of putting off an incredible win on the day. Kian Grotter say he's been an absolute revelation, winning a race two. Or should I say second in race two? The moment leading race three, card to eleven. He's got just under half a second advantage over second place Sri Naidu. So come down here to turn one at the end of the main straightaway. Sri seems to have turned up their wicket attack. Gap is down. To uh, point two, separating first to second. Big pressure there for third place man. Charles Fisher, Karen Bam desperately trying to find a way through. Your race two winner down at fourth place, desperately trying to work his way through Charles Fisher to take on that third position. Gaps opening up there between the positions right now. See, Sri Nairo is at just a half a second off our Grottis right now. Schalf is a half a second off Cone Bam's third position.
Five laps remain. This race for seventh position and pretty much uh, closing up and hotting up. It's a Riley Horner, looks like uh, he's taken on that. Holding off the charge from Jean Reynal and Olorato Sekudu. Huge battle going on for seventh position. No change up front. Grotus leaves Naidu. Bam in third. Fisser in fourth. Well, Ken Grotus must be very pleased with his performance right now. Schneider has pushed hard in second, but hasn't been able to close that gap. He's a half a second off Grotus right now. Naidu with uh, just under three laps remaining. Fissa hasn't been able to make an impression on Cohen's third position. The two mine one caught. A band looking strong in that third spot right now. Well, the Rotex uh, African Open for 2021 has certainly pro proved to be very challenging and exciting racing. Last lap now for the, the uh, competitors, the 211 card. Hold strong in there. The front of the pack, Kian Grotus, looking full of confidence right now as he all heads. Well on his way there to what looks like a victory. Sri Nairu continues to push hard in second. Cohen Bam in third. Fisher in that fourth. And check his goes out there. Kian Grottis. Well, it's all over. He stops and he can't believe. That magic ticket is going to go his way. There he is now. Everybody, there's the shake of the hands, congratulating each other. Ken Grotis is the man who will be celebrating tonight. Okay, I've got here Kian Grotis, car 211. Of the senior max class he's just come out of heat three africa open in p1 this is it it all counts this is it he's got the tickets to bahrain in 2022 <laughs> you're vibrating with joy <laughs> yeah kid tell me you obviously knew you had shrian and i do all over the back of you for almost the entire race so how did you handle the pressure you know i just had to keep my cool head down focus I really wanted that. I made sure I wanted it, you know. I did everything possible. I put in my lap times. I was just focused, so focused for that victory. And I'm so happy with the result. I'm so happy. Amazing, of course you're happy. Um, when it comes to pit crew and, and things like that, it, it takes a team. 
you know, to make the dream happen. Who would you like to thank? You know, I just want to thank my family behind all of this. I don't think I would have been here if it wasn't for them. I want to thank my mechanics as well. Des especially, he does everything for me. I really appreciate him. I don't think we've done one step wrong. I'm so grateful and most of all, I just want to thank God. He put me in this incredible place and I just love it. And I thank him so much. It looks like you're doing what you were made to do. Um, final question from me. You mentioned 12 months of karting, lockdown, what have you. Just explain what a huge effort this has been in the short space of time that you've been karting. You know, 12 months, you know, I think only a few could have done what I think I have accomplished today. I'm really grateful for that. I mean, without all these lockdowns, I couldn't come to the track. That's, that's why I'm only here for 12 months. My second season only in Senior Mac, one step upgraded from Junior Mac, you know. Inside is just amazing to feel what I have accomplished and I just want to thank everyone. Yeah, I couldn't do it without them. Absolutely, you got great support in your camp as well. <laughs> Fantastic. How does it feel to be Africa's champion in a senior max cart? No words can explain it. I'm, I'm on top of the world right now. Yeah, I feel it. I just, you know, against all these great drivers, excellent drivers, they didn't put a foot wrong in this race, you know. I just want to, it's amazing. I don't know what to say. No, it's awesome. Thank you for joining us. Thank Thanks for you. all the support. We look forward to prize giving where you get your actual ticket and um, all the best for Bahrain. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I've got uh, Shri and Naidu here with me. Um, he's just come off heat three, final heat of the day for Africa Open um, in a senior max cart. He's been out of it for a little while and he came back in very strong form. Shri and you were all over the bumper uh, uh, of Gratis for, for the whole entire race. Um, did he not make any mistakes? What could you have done better? Uh, I don't think he didn't make any mistakes. He did one or two mistakes, which why I caught up. But at the end of the day, he was sort of pole, and then he had the best position. And by the time I fought through and caught up to him, my tyres were a bit overheated. And then I just had to manage, try and manage my tyres better. But then and the laps were very short, and uh, I ended up running out of time at the end of the day. But it was good racing, and yeah, we'll see you next year. Absolutely, I, have, I agree. It was in really intense, very exciting, very close racing. We felt as though you could pounce at any second on the track you were you were there um and like you said it must have been the tire pressure that probably yeah. let you down at the end of the day yeah i think his motor was a bit stronger out of the corner so every time i got close i just he just pulled a cartlin the so from me and now uh, here it's also very difficult to overtake unless you want to like barge door uh, barge sideboards and everything so i didn't want to do that and yeah uh, i tried my best and but it wasn't enough so we'll have come back next year absolutely listen you're always a gentleman on and off the track um shriya naidu from idube kzn uh, how does it feel to be second in africa in a senior max car it feels really good especially considering i've sold the fifth so i'm really happy with the progress i made up the field and yeah, I would like to go to Bahrain, but unfortunately we can't, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Not this year, yeah. but we will definitely see you 2022 yeah. uh, Africa Open. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Okay. That's us for um, Rotax Africa Open 2021. It's been intense, it's been exciting, there's been drama, melodrama, and of course elation. But the ticket winners about to get their tickets to Bahrain 2022. We're going to start prize giving. We're moving on to Senior Max and very good racing throughout the day from the Senior Max competitors as well. We truly are blessed with racing talent in this country. If you've had a look at uh, this weekend's racing, I think karting and motorsport in our country is in good hands if we can continue like this. And in sixth position in the Senior Max category, we've got cart number 244, Jack Rowe. Well done. Shot. In fifth position, also a welcome return back to karting, cart number 237, Jordan Brooks. In fourth position, 
from Cape Town, cart number 257, Charles Michael Fisser. In third position, also a youngster that shines when it's time. It's a pity he does it only once a year at the African Open, cart 291, Cohen Bam. Second position goes to cart number 212, Shrenadu. Well done, sir. And the winner of the African Open and also the winner of a seat at the Grand Finals in Bahrain, cart number 211, Kian Gratis. Guys, that is our Senior Max class for this African Open. Some awesome racing throughout the weekend from them as well. Let's give them a round of applause, Senior Max competitors, and we wish them well at the Grand Finals in Bahrain.